Hey, what is happening guys? Chris here, and in this video I'll be focusing on the P90 SMG in Battlefield Hardline. Be another SMG to use it, you'll have to play as a mechanic, and you'll also have to be a criminal. The gun costs $30,000, so it's not too cheap, but at the same time it's not that expensive. So when it comes down to the stats, the P90's maximum damage is 25, and this starts to drop off at 20 meters. And its minimum damage is 12, and this is dealt at 40 meters or over. So this is actually quite different to the other SMGs, as it'll take over 4 bullets to kill at close range. It'll take 4 bullets up to 20 meters, 5 bullets up to 27 meters, 6 up to 32, 7 up to 36 meters, 8 bullets up to 37 meters, and then finally up to 9 bullets beyond the range of 40 meters. Almost all the other SMGs can kill in 3 bullets up close, but the P90 is going to take that one extra bullet to put the other guy down. That said, its range isn't too bad as it drops off at 20 meters, whereas most of the other SMGs tend to become weaker at slightly longer distances. When it comes down to the fire rate, the P90 shoots at 900 RPM, which is one of the faster firing weapons in the game. This should allow you to get that extra fourth bullet to hit in order to kill other mechanics at close range, and come out on top in those one-on-one -on -one gunfights. It's got a muzzle velocity of 460 meters per second, so this is on par with the MPX which both have the highest muzzle velocities of all the mechanics weapons. This will mean that your bullet's travel time is going to be a bit shorter, and you might mean that you can trace targets a little easier whilst they're on the move. The recoil pattern for the P90 is quite easy to control, but it isn't exactly the most accurate weapon in the world. It jumps upwards 0.22, and its horizontal movement is 0.3, both left and right. This means that although it shouldn't be too hard to stay on your target, but with all that sideways recoil, a lot of your bullets are going to go elsewhere, other than where you want them to. And it's going to be really difficult to drop other players at longer ranges, especially with the P90's damage model. Your first shot's also going to have a 2.4 times multiplier added on there too, so tap firing probably isn't the best option for the P90. One of the best things about the P90 though is its magazine size. Each magazine boasts a massive 51 bullets, which is twice as big as an MP5K magazine, with an extra 8 bullets on top of that. The gun's high fire rate combined with its big mag size means that you can quite easily take on gangs of enemies without the worry of running out of bullets. And on each respawn you'll start with 153 bullets in total. The gun's reload time with no bullets left in the clip will take 3 seconds, and with bullets left in your last clip it'll take 2.5 seconds. So it's got a fairly lengthy reload time, but because the gun's got a lot of bullets in its magazine, you probably won't need to reload quite as much. So, with all the stats out of the way, it's time to talk about the attachments. One attachment that I would completely avoid altogether is the compensator. The gun's already got a high amount of sideways recoil, making the gun less accurate. And if anything, the compensator will just make the gun even worse by adding even more recoil to this sideways movement. One attachment that I would recommend though is the muzzle brake. This will drop that sideways movement by 50%, making it much easier to use at medium ranges, as more of your bullets are going to hit your target. It'll lower the horizontal recoil from 0.3 to just 0.15, making it a much easier gun to use. Because of the P90's large mag size and slightly higher muzzle velocity, the suppressor is actually quite a good pick if you plan on flanking your enemies and being stealthy. You can take out several other players with just one magazine up close without being noticed. Though it'll also make the P90 harder to use over distance, so if you plan on sticking a silencer on there, try and stick to close quarter combat as much as you can. So, as a quick summary, the P90 is a mechanic weapon that can only be used by the criminals. It'll take over 4 bullets to kill up close, and up to 9 bullets over longer distances. It's got a fast fire rate and a reasonably good range, though it can be quite inaccurate due to that high horizontal recoil. Each magazine's got 51 bullets, which is a lot more than the other SMGs, but its reload time is quite slow, though this shouldn't be too much of a problem. The P90's fast fire rate with its high amount of bullets should give you enough chance to kill multiple enemies without too much of a problem. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to say in this weapon guide, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Check out loads of other weapon guides on Battlefield Hardline on my channel, and subscribe to stay updated with everything else. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.